Hello everyone. Today the topic is Solution Thermodynamics, its application. First topic is liquid phase properties from VLE data. So here VLE means vapor liquid equilibrium. First we consider a vessel in which a vapor mixture and a liquid solution coexist in vapor liquid equilibrium. So here we are taking vapor mixture and liquid solution. So both of these become exist in equilibrium which we call it as vapor liquid equilibrium. So here the temperature P and pressure P are uniform throughout the vessel. We can see that in this diagram. This is the schematic representation of vapor liquid equilibrium. So here we are taking a vessel in which the vapor is at a constant temperature and pressure and the composition is Y. Similarly, the liquid is indicated in the other half section that is it represents at constant temperature, pressure and liquid phase composition Xi. So here the samples of vapor and liquid phases are withdrawn for analysis and we make the analysis and gives experimental values for mole fractions in the vapor that is represented by Ya and mole fractions in the liquid which is represented by Xi. So based on that analysis we write for the species I in the vapor mixture the equation for fugacity can be written as Fi cap power V that is Fi represents the fugacity of the component I so V represents the vapor mixture so which is equal to Ya Phi A cap P so here Ya is the composition Phi A cap is the coefficient activity coefficient the refugacity coefficient P is the pressure. So here for vapor liquid equilibrium it requires that Fi cap power L is equal to Fi cap power V for each species. So if vapor and liquid should be in equilibrium then fugacity should be same for both liquid and vapor. So therefore Fi cap power L is equal to Y A phi A cap power phi A cap P. So for low pressure conditions, low pressure VLE, the vapor phases will approximate to ideal gases. So for that phi A cap is equal to 1. Then the above equation becomes that means here we substitute phi A cap is 1. So F I cap power L is equal to Y A P. So from this equation we can say that the fugacity of species I in the liquid phase can be approximated by the partial pressure of species I in the vapor phase. So this equation represents the fugacity of the species I in the liquid phase. So if we consider Xi equal to Y I equal to 1 then the total pressure equals the vapor pressure of Q species I and it represents F I cap power L is equal to F I L which is equal to P I Satch. So the above equation becomes F I cap power L becomes equal to F I power L which is equal to P I Satch. So from this equation we can calculate the values of liquid phase fugacities for any binary system. So we can take any of the binary system. So from that we can calculate the liquid phase fugacities by using the equation F1 cap equal to Y1P and F2 cap equal to Y2P. So here the superscript L has been dropped. So for convenience we have dropped the superscript. So by using these equations the liquid phase fugacities for any binary system can be calculated. 
so this is the today's topic there is a liquid phase properties from vapor liquid equilibrium data so if you like my video please subscribe my channel please comment like share my channel please click the bell button for for more videos thank you very much